Hey, hey, Blue Table fans! We are taking a look at a terrain set today. <gasps> oh, I love it. I so very enjoyed constructing this. And the it's supposed to be a ruined city in a swamp. So I chose this battle mat from Frontline Gaming, I'm going to say. And, uh, you know, kind of made it roughly match the color scheme there. So yeah, it's a, it's a ruined city. No building measures more than 12 inches on a side, and that's for storage. I used this expanding insulation foam, which I buttered on here for sort of this uh, purple mold stuff that's going on. And uh, you know, just a, it's a whole bunch of uh, extruded styrofoam. In fact, let me show you what that looks like in its natural state. Yup, that's this stuff here. I used one inch, and obviously I cut it at lots of different angles. Now one thing I wanted to show you is when I'm constructing this, I make it so that models can reasonably be put on it. So like these guys, hold on, let me just turn them around. They are, you know, they have, they have little steps to stand on and they have line of sight, but it's clear that they're in cover as well. And then they can get up and down on these little levels. And uh, same thing with the windows. The windows are generally constructed so that a guy can see out of them. Uh, again, you have like almost a little bunker wall formation here. And um, yeah, so a lot of pieces. I uh, do believe right around 40 pieces for this set. And you've got some technological stuff like this in there, this sort of chemical uh, plant thing. That's actually been repurposed from another set. And yeah, what else to say? It's, it's a great set. It populates one table very densely. And if you were just using tournament settings, it could probably do two or three tables worth of terrain. So I'm totally stoked. I'm really happy with how it turned out. And, you know, terrain is one of the great joys of this hobby. So there it is. Thanks for tuning in, and I hope you got your inspiration for the day.